everybody, Jillian here, back to share with you a journaling Bible flip through video. I have about 20 entries to share with you that I created throughout the month of July. I've got my most frequently used supplies linked in the description below if you're interested in checking any of them out, as well as the shop where I got my Bible cover from. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. My first entry that I have is in Deuteronomy. And I created this entry using one of the kits from Ashley, who owns and operates this shop, Magnolia and Magenta. I'll go ahead and link that down below. She does devotional kits every month, and so she sent me one to play around with, and uh, I ended up creating this entry in Deuteronomy. This entry is in First Chronicles, and I'm using the print and pray set from Brave Little Taylor, and I think it's called Holy Roller. It has these adorable girls in it, and I had so much fun doing a double page spread with these just adorable printable pieces. This entry is in Psalm 73, and I have a process video, so I'm not going to spend much time on this one, but I'll go ahead and link it below. This entry I did using the Pray, Create, Repeat set from Jess Robin in the Print and Pray shop. These were printable pieces, these little paint splatters, and I went ahead and just created my own little paint splatters to kind of round out the page. This entry is in um, Proverbs. It's actually, I did it in the end of June, but wanted to share it. And the verse that I journaled is actually here on the back side, but I ran out of room. So I went ahead and did it here where I had some free space and just really had some fun. This was one of those like nap time entries, had some fun layering paint and stencils and stamps and a little paper clip here with some washi. Oh, and the word Fetty. A lot of times when I have these like nap time entries, I'll go ahead and share the process or progress in my Instagram stories, and I think I may have done that with this one. So I would encourage you, if you uh, see those, go ahead and check them out. This entry I used the Shine set from Shauna Klingerman in the Print and Pray shop to create. I listened to a podcast one morning and feverishly wrote down the notes in my little journal and then got the main points here in Proverbs and it was really cool because John Piper who um, did the podcast referenced this verse in Proverbs 1 8 and that's the book that I studied in the month of July and so that was that was just really cool how that worked out and I wanted to use this card it was one of my favorites in her set and so I just went ahead and clipped it in here on top of all the artwork and my notes and stuff. This entry is in Proverbs 15, and there were a lot of Proverbs that I had jotted down about the tongue and what a wise person's speech is like, and so I used that really fun technique that Shauna shared over on the Illustrated Faith YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and link it, um, where she just had some creative play with different acrylic paints and stamps and texture things, and so I went ahead and um, did that process and then just really simply cut out the phrase, speak life from the little art piece that I had made and then just wrote a little prayer down here, super simple. This entry I have a process video for so I'll go ahead and link that for you guys if you want to check it out. Here is an entry in Proverbs 20 and I just used the same color scheme that I've been really in love with, this time with acrylic paints and I just jotted down some notes about um, that I had taken on Proverbs 20 verse 22 where it says, do not say, I will pay you back for this wrong, wait for the Lord and he will avenge you. And so I had a verse in 1 Peter 2 taped to my desk when I worked um, in an office that really really echoed this and then I jotted another one down in Romans here that I felt went along with this proverb and so um so yeah just put some paint down and then got those down on the page pretty simple this entry I used the clear cuts pad for recently Dayspring had um a great sale and um I was just kind of inspired to use them so I put down three of them, highlighted my verse that I was journaling, used some word fetty, and then got some um, got some notes down here. This entry was so fun to make. I want to do it uh, like over and over again with different colors like a hundred more times. So I'm really into, as you can see, using like different fonts of black alpha stickers, and I really need to bump up my stash because I'm running low on the vowels and S's and T's and R's and things like that. So this was really fun to do with some acrylic paint, some big brush pens here, and then just getting down some notes on this verse, Proverbs 25, 2. 
And on the back side, just another really quick nap time entry in Proverbs 25. Um, later on in 25, I think it's verses 6 and 7. And I used, again, the clear cuts pads to just fussy cut some of the homespun letters here. And then it was such a large word that I went ahead and stacked it down the margin and then kind of wrote my notes in this space here. And so what I really liked doing while going through Proverbs and studying this was you can see I did this on a lot of pages. I referenced things from the New Testament that were mentioned that I felt like went really well with the proverb. So here it talks about in Proverbs, humility in the king's presence, and then is referenced in one of Jesus's parables in Luke. So I think that's really cool how scripture um, references each other, interprets each other. Um, so I would really encourage you to to like kind of read your Bible that way. It's really, really cool to see how all of these writings over thousands of years really do intertwine. This entry I used a couple different print and pray pieces for. These adorable salt waters are from Brianna Showalter. It's from her set Simple Things. This little picnic blanket and the radio and the hearts are from Amy Bruce's set that is available in the print and pray shop. So fun to use here in Ecclesiastes. And then the tile alphas are, of course, from Mrs. Elaine Davis. And I've been using them on so many things because, again, I'm running out of alpha stickers. This entry I did in Song of Solomon, I only ever shared this page, but I ended up using the tip in here. I was really into double page spreads for in the month of July. And so I used Mandy Ford's set here to go ahead and illustrate this part of Song of Songs. This entry was so fun to do. I did it in the beginning of the month. I used Elaine Davis's set, Wonderfully Wired, I think it's called, in the Print and Pray shop. So super fun to get this these sermon notes down actually in Isaiah 64. And then I'm going to jump over to the New Testament. This is in 1 Corinthians 13. I actually have an entry on the back side of this page, so I went ahead and just did it on the back side. And this is my first entry from Revival Camp. I don't love it. A lot of the blues and greens from the back side of the page are kind of leaking through and it leaves it with this weird color. I don't know. So, but I still thought I'd share it. I mean, I like it. It's just not one of my favorites. This entry I did using Salted Brews set in the print and pray shop called Happy Rebirth Day and had so much fun using these Allie Edwards stamps and the really fun tassels and bright colors and things like that for this entry in 2 Corinthians. Here's another entry using some clipped in cards from Shauna Klingerman. This one is in Hebrews 10:14. And then we get into my very first entry using the Persevere devotional from Illustrated Faith. I have a process video for this. If you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll link it for you guys. And then the last entry I'm only going to show you really quickly. This is um, my first entry or my first project I did using the new August Faith Art Box from Creative Retreats. And it's in 2 Peter chapter 1. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about a particular supply, feel free to leave me a comment below. Be sure to check back on Wednesday for a brand new Bible journaling process video and I'll see you then.